God designed marriage for us to enjoy one another, to grow with one another, to serve one another, and to love one another. The feeling of your wedding day, as wonderful it is, is fleeting with time. And in those moments, you must both choose to love. But what is love? See, love is a very common word. We use it uh, in many different ways. We say, I love you to the person that we care about uh, more than anyone in the world. And it is easy to see that Ian and Shelly do love each other. Of a brand new start. Hello everyone. My name is Megan. I'm the matron of honor. So I have been close with Chelly since freshman year of high school, which used to sound not that long ago. That's about 11 years. Now she's a badass nurse. She's moved across the country and I couldn't be more proud of the beautiful, strong and passionate woman that I've watched her become over the years. Heaven's looking down upon you Glory, we bask in the sun How you've put your arms around me Saints For those of you who do not know me and Ian's relationship, let's just say he knew who I was before I knew who I was yet. From us fighting all the time back in the day to eventually becoming partners in crime and best bros, I'm proud to see who my brother has become and I'm even happier he has found someone to spend his life with. I've been waiting my whole life for this. Um, I'll be honest, when I first met Shelly, I would not even say a word to her. But I'm glad I've gotten to know her over time and realize I was wrong and how compatible they are and how close we became. Ian and Shelly, marriage is not always easy because it's more than a feeling, it's a choice. If you want a marriage, your marriage, to be strong and to last, you must choose every day to love each other. If you choose to do this, your marriage will be one of the most fulfilling and rewarding and fruitful parts of your entire life. Welcome. Uh, we're gathered here today to celebrate one of the happiest moments in the lives of Ian and Shelly. Uh, today, Ian and Shelly affirm before God and the witnesses here in heaven and on earth that God has purposed that they should share their life together in marriage. Some things that I can do without, but some things not you. I, Ian Tungley. I, Ian Tungley. Take you, Chelly Olvera. Take you, Chelly Olvera. To be my wife. To be my wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better or for worse. For better and for worse. For richer, for poor. For richer and for poor. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Until death do us part. Until death do us part. Chelly Olvera, take you Ian Tungley. I, Chelly Olvera, take you Ian Tungley. To be my husband. To be my husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better or for worse. For better or for worse. For richer, for poor. For richer, for poor. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. For love and to cherish. 
to love and to cherish. Until death do us part. Until death do us part. Well, Ian and Shelley have consented together in holy wedlock and have witnessed the same before God in this company of witnesses. They have given and pledged their love to each other and have declared the same by giving and receiving rings. I, now by the authority as a minister of the gospel of Jesus Christ, pronounce you that they are husband and wife. Ian, you may now kiss your bride. And if anyone has watched these people grow into the unit they are today, it's me. So, of course, he grew on me eventually. And you can all tell from the way he looks at my girl that he loves her with his whole heart and would do anything for her. And if there's anything we know about her is that she knows what she wants. And when she decided Ian was what she wanted, it was game over. We all know they've been through a lot, especially with being long distance and dealing with the pandemic. It was very hard. But I wanted to say I watched them continue to find ways to strengthen their relationship from thousands of miles away and how they would cherish the moments they did get to have with each other that much more. And honestly, it inspired me to really appreciate the moments we have with our loved ones and make every moment count. to thank you for loving and caring for my best friend when I couldn't be there. She's one of the most important people in my life and she deserves the world. And I believe you'll do anything you can do to give that to her. I love you both very much and I wish you a lifetime of happiness and hopefully a few babies along the way. Ha, got you. Okay.